Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to go through my low buy picks for February. So as you probably know, if you've watched my channel before, I mentioned this a million times lately, but I am on a low buy for at least the first half of 2016. I've been thinking that I'm going to extend it for the entire year, but as of right now, I'm going to be just focusing on the first part of the year. So for the first half of the year, I'm limiting myself to three makeup items or skincare items that cost over $20. I'll link to my January video up here in case you want to go check out what I bought then. Um, but this month I bought all makeup. I by any uh, skincare. And I have mentioned each of these items in different videos, but I thought I would do a nice little wrap up of all of these items just in case you missed anything. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing that I picked for the month of February is actually the same thing that I picked in the month of January. Um, it is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I'm in the color W2 and I just love this stuff. And I'm wearing all three of these items today actually. Um, but I absolutely love this. I had a coupon that was going to be expiring. I think it was $4 off, which is pretty good. So when I saw that I had that coupon, I decided to pick another one of these up. Um, these don't last very long and they're pretty expensive. I think at Target where I got this one, it was like $15.99. Um, so the $4 off coupon really did help but the one that I bought in January is almost done I probably have maybe three or four more uses um, so I'm happy that I picked up another one of these I should definitely be using this one by the end of the month um, I don't know that I'm going to purchase another one though because it is so expensive and these just don't last very long if you use the regular Lumi foundation along with the cushion foundation let me know if you think they're the same because I would be interested in purchasing um, the Lumi foundation just in the pump bottle after this because um, I really love this foundation and I'm hoping it that it's the same but I'm not quite sure um, and that one you get a full ounce of product and it's a little bit cheaper than this so I think maybe when this one's done I will go that route. Alright so the next item in my low buy this month I'm going to be counting my Kylie Jenner lip kit. I got the color Posey K and my husband actually bought this for me for Valentine's Day but I'm going to be counting it anyways. This was kind of an expensive product. It was $29 for the lip liner and the lip color um, you know and I just don't need anything else this month so I wasn't really tempted to buy anything else so I think it's a good thing that I'm going to be counting a gift as one of my items. But I did do a first impressions video on that. I will link to it up here in case you want to go check it out. And I have had a lot of fun wearing this the past couple of days, but what I've realized that I didn't do in my first impressions um, is that the lip liner really makes a difference. In that video, I just put the lip liner like around the outside of my lips. Um, but if you fill it in, um, the lip liner is a quite a bit darker than the actual lip color. So using the lip liner all over really just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. However, there is a downside. I feel like if I just lined my lips and then just filled it in with this color, like I did in the first impression it's a little more comfortable and I kind of like the way that that felt better um, but it does look better when you put the lip liner all over your lips so kind of a toss-up there I guess as to how to wear this so I think next time I wear this kit I will just line my lips and kind of do like an ombre fade kind of thing with the lip color and the lip liner um, but in general I do really like this I've worn it quite a few times already um, whoops um, and I've just had a lot of fun with it I think the color is just so pretty all right, then on to my very last item that I picked for the month of February, and I did a first impressions video on this as well, so I will go ahead and link to it up there, um, but it is my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. If you didn't see that video, that's what the palette looks like. It's got a lot of warm tones to it, and then that beautiful, beautiful purple shade. So, so pretty. Um, in that video, I do a little demo of uh, applying this, and I put that color all over my lid. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Um, but I have had a ton of fun playing with this the last few days. Um, some of the shades in here, like I mentioned in that video too, like this one um, here are a little bit difficult for me to use. I still haven't figured out quite how I want to use that one yet. But in general, I think they're really blendable, um, really nicely pigmented, and just a lot of fun. So there are all my low buy items for February. Again, the Kylie Jenner lip kit was a gift, so I really only picked two items, so I think that's pretty good. And honestly, I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I have no idea what I'm going to get in March. So as of right now, I'm really going to try and hold off and not buy anything in March. I don't think that will probably happen, but that is my goal because I believe the Sephora VIB sale and then also the Ulta sale are both in April. So it would be great if I didn't buy anything in March so I could use those three items towards the sales in April, but we'll just kind of see what happens as the month goes on. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. There'll be a link down there somewhere, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!